coming up this weekend at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Jesus Lazardo highlighting a uh, notable group of players who are hosting a youth baseball clinic. It's a three hour event. And again, it's coming up on Saturday the 20th. And we're so pleased to have Jesus join us on the Friday program to talk about what's going on this weekend. Jesus, good morning. This is not the first time you've done this. Uh, and I would imagine that it's, it's so much fun for you and some of your current Marlins teammates to be out there working with the kids. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. It's a great opportunity for us to kind of give back, um, you know, and, and just teach kids a little bit about baseball, but at the same time, uh, just have a good time with them. Um, you know, hopefully they get to enjoy the game of baseball a little bit more, see why we love it, and hopefully they start to love it even more. Jesus, I mean, only 26 years old, and you're already, obviously, this is the fourth year you're doing this, actively involved in the community. Uh, tell us about why this means so much to you, what, you know, made you want to get it started, and, and, and where you see it going. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, for me, um, when I was young, I, I was lucky enough to go to a couple events like this. I remember going to one. Uh, it was a Marlins event. Um, I was a lifelong Marlins fan. So Juan Pierre was one of my favorite guys. And I remember him giving us like base stealing tips. And uh, that's something that kind of like stuck to me in my head. Uh, and that's just something I wanted to give back to my community where I grew up at. Um, so being able to go back to my old high school, uh, me and Colin Walker went there um, and graduated in 2016. And, uh, you know, Kobe Mayo will also be there. So so guys that went to high school with me, maybe played against me, but in the Broward County area and uh, just being able to give back to those kids in that community uh, is so special to me. I'm looking at your baseball reference page to see if you have any bags. No stolen bases so far for you, Jesus. Is it, is, are those Juan Pierre lessons, are they going to pay off at some point? Uh, I mean, I hope. I, I mean, I honestly, uh, I remember getting on base the, in 21, and I thought about stealing a bag, and I was like, no, nah, I probably shouldn't do that. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so let me ask you about pitching, because uh, that's your craft after all. Uh, you, you know, when the strikeout's coming for you, and you've got so many starts last year, and for your career for that matter, where over half your outs are via punch out. Is that something you feel in the bullpen before the game starts? Is it something that comes to you when you know that uh, that the strikeout's going to be your big weapon? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like definitely um, as the game progress or as my bullpen progresses, um, I know you know maybe that day I have a certain pitch or maybe I don't. Uh, but really, it's it's all about feel when I get out in the game. Um, and once I get to two strikes, my mind instantly goes to you know I need a punch out here. So. Um, it, it's really a feel thing. Uh, sometimes I'm not even looking for it, and it happens. Those are the best days. But um, however, any way to get outs for me, I'm, I'm happy with. Uh, Jesus, you come up with the A's and then you know, obviously traded to the Marlins. I think the last two years, and I'm sure you'd agree with me, have been your most consistent, sustained success, right? So what has been the difference for you? Because you came up as a heralded prospect, a lot of stuff. You obviously still have that stuff, um, and, and it's, it's great to watch you out there. What has been the difference for you over the last two years with the Marlins? Um, I feel like, uh, I mean, I always paid a lot of attention to detail to my work, but uh, I feel like working with Mel Stoudemire, um, our pitching coach with the Marlins, he really kind of made me um, pay attention even more in my bullpens and my catch play really fine to my stuff um, and just when I'm out there and slow the game down, don't let, you know, don't try to do too much, stay within myself. I feel like when I, uh, you know, would try to go out there and do a little extra was when I would get in trouble, get the walks, maybe leave a pitch over the heart of the plate. So um, the best thing, the best advice he ever gave me was, you know, just go out there and be yourself. You know, don't try to be too much. Just go out there and your stuff will play. And uh, once I really started trusting that, I feel like it all started to click. We were just visiting during the commercial, and you you informed us that you had just finished your workout. What is what is your winter program like? What do you focus on? Um, I mean, really, it's just basically overall uh, strength. You know, wanting to to stay strong and stay as athletic as possible. Um, for me, it's I like to move freely. I like to move athletically on the mound. It's something that uh, helps me when I'm pitching. Uh, I'm more of a feel guy in terms of, uh, you know, my mechanics. I want to feel good. And so um, basically just strength, moving well, uh, taking care of the arm, making sure it's in the right spot uh, for, for when we get going in spring training. Yeah, you talk about what you're doing in the offseason. What are some goals for you coming into this season? You've, you've achieved a lot already early in your career. What are some goals for you specifically, individually, coming into this year with really a young and, and exciting team here with the Marlins? 
Yeah, um, I think that, you know, we have a, an extremely exciting team uh, and we want to build off of the year that we had last year. Um, I think, you know, obviously we want to make a deeper run in the playoffs. And for me personally, I would just like to make 32, 33 starts again this year. Um, you know, maybe some more innings, but just uh, have a bigger workload for me. Uh, be able to take the mound every five days that my team asked for it. Hey, can we put that list up again of the uh, the players that will be joining Jesus at this clinic coming up on Saturday? This is a really kind of eclectic group here, Jesus. Uh, I would imagine that you know all these guys personally. They're all South Florida guys. Have you faced Ren Hifo in the big leagues? Have you faced Casas in the big leagues? And um, did you ever drill those guys? And will they be mad at you on Saturday if you did? <laughs> uh, no, I never, unfortunately, I never faced um, Casas. I, I remember actually um, facing him in high school uh, when he was younger. He was younger than I was, and, I mean, we all knew he was going to be a stud back then. I faced Renhifo a couple times in the big leagues. Uh, he might have got a knock off me. I'm not too sure. But um, those are all great guys, and uh, I'm happy to have them out there with me. Uh, great group of guys, uh, a lot of hard workers. So the kids are going to learn a lot. Really cool that you're doing this. Again, it's coming up on Saturday at, at uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland and uh, Jesus giving back to the community. Thanks for the time today, man. Um, have fun on Saturday, and we will look forward to watching your work this year coming up. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for having me on.